Tonight, the Grand Palais hosts the most eagerly awaited event of the year, the sensational fashion show of famed designer Gabriel Agreste. And a major event always brings prestigious guests. Mayor of Paris, André Bourgeois, is expected to attend the show with his wife, the great and highly respected fashion critic. Honestly, Marinette, it's perfect the way it is. Oh, Tiki, I don't know. I feel like it's the ugliest hat in the world, and Adrian is supposed to model it in front of everyone. He'll resent me for the rest of his life. I have zero talent, and everyone's gonna find that out tonight. <laughs> You're a great designer, Marinette. Besides, if your hat was so ugly, why did Gabriel Agreste handpick it for his fashion show? But what if people see that it's a synthetic pigeon feather and not a real one? They're gonna think it's lame, aren't they? You did the right thing replacing it. With that allergy of his, Adrian would be sneezing all the way down the catwalk. You're right. Besides, I don't have time to make changes anyway. The show begins in... <gasps> oh no! I'm gonna be late again! Quick, Tiki! <laughs> this is it. Here she comes, the international queen of fashion, director of Style Queen magazine, Audrey Bourgeois! Anthony, uh, Andre, be a deer and fire the chauffeur. I can't believe Gabriel allows his staff to drive like that. And neither do I. Yes, of course, Audrey, dear. Bourgeois. Who? Only the harshest fashion critic in the entire world. I didn't know she was coming. What is this carpet? Is it fabric? Why isn't the red carpet made out of marble like I said? You're fired. <laughs> ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. She's gonna hate my hat for sure. I'm sure she won't. Come on, Marinette. Adrian is waiting for you. Audrey, like the slogan of your magazine says, if it's in good taste, it's in Style Queen. So, what's in good taste this year? Judging by the way you're dressed, you obviously don't know, my dear. For your information, the trend this year is glitter. Glitter? There's no glitter on my hat. This is a fashion disaster. As the editor of Style Queen, you spend a lot of time in New York. It must be nice to be with your family for a change here in Paris. She's very happy to see me. By the way, Mom, I have a little something for you. Clara, uh, Chloe, what is this? Um, it's a gift? Huh, this wrapping paper is ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. You're fired. Uh, uh, darling, please, you can't fire Chloe. She's your daughter. Audrey, how long are you planning to stay in Paris? The shortest possible time. Thank you. This fashion show just might be one of the most important in Gabriel Agreste's career, as evidenced by Audrey Bourgeois' presence. Will the famous fashion designer who never appears in public show up for the occasion? Stay tuned to find out. Don't be the... Where are you going? You heard Audrey Bourgeois, right? I can't let Adrian model this hat. There's no glitter on it. Zero trend potential. Oh, there you are, Marinette. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you. Uh, but, uh, actually, I, uh... The dressing rooms are that way. Hurry up, you're late. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this? Mom, this is Marinette Dupencheng, the loser. And this is a hat she made because she thinks she's a designer. She even signed it, look. I... It's not me, it's another Marinette. I, I was just bringing it to... Uh, Marinette. <laughs> we have to go. Style Queen, I am Hawk Moth. You've been refused a throne that is rightfully yours. As Queen of Fashion, you will now be able to revenge those fashion disasters who disrespected you. They'll see who's Queen, Hawk Moth. show without the Queen of Style? Literally unacceptable! Is this supposed to happen? I've never attended a fashion show before. Where's that ungrateful Gabriel Agreste? I demand that he kneels before me! My father isn't here! Well then, if fashion disaster daddy isn't here, I'll just have to settle for Agreste Jr! You're fired! Adrian! Uh-oh, we've got a problem! Adrian! 
We no longer have a choice. Style Queen, you must defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir as soon as possible. But where's Marinette? This Style Queen just made a huge faux pas. Hey? Cheeky, what's up? Sweetheart, please stop this madness. Hmm. Fired! Mom! Claudine! Uh, Chloe! I'm not Mom! I am Style Queen! Do you want to be fired too? No, no, I really don't, Style Queen. Uh, besides, don't you need an assistant? Hmm. I did fire my last one this morning. She sure was useless. Utterly useless. Fine. I'll take you on trial. What an atrocious suit! That bug looks so last year! But the yo-yo makes a strong comeback this year. Ha! You're a couple sizes too small to beat me, Ladybug. Mom! Queen, mm -hmm. if you want to find Gabriel Grest, I know where he lives. You can take care of Ladybug later. She's worthless anyway. Hmm. It's not a completely idiotic idea. Aggressed. He usually never leaves his house. Style Queen, he's hidden safely somewhere. Ladybug is protecting him. <laughs> she can barely protect herself. You must seize Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. If they can't save his son, then Gabriel Aggress will have to show up. Don't worry, Hawk Moth. You'll get your costume jewels. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> can't she stand still for two seconds? <laughs> Coming to you live from the Grand Palais Museum, I'm Nadia Shimak. Gabriel Agreste's fashion show was recently delayed after the queen of fashion, Audrey Bourgeois, was akumatized. But everything is back on schedule again after Ladybug heroically stepped in to save the day, as usual. The fashion show can finally begin. I don't want to break our promise, but I can't keep putting our son in danger. Style Queen was supposed to be my masterpiece, but even she failed. I feel like I've done all I possibly could, you know. I'll never be able to fulfill my wish without Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Forgive me, Emily. I'm giving you up, Nuru. Scoop. The hat Adrian Agrest is wearing was made by my BFF Marinette. Anything you'd like to say during my live stream? <laughs> what? <gasps> I don't believe this. Lady bloggers, a huge update. That's Gabriel Agrest. He hasn't been in public in ages. Scoop number two, Gabriel Agreste has just turned up, and that means we'll be seeing your hat in every single photo and news broadcast. This was Gabriel Agreste's first public appearance since his wife disappeared. This fashion week is full of surprises and shockers. My dear Audrey, I heard about the unforgivable misfortune you had to endure. I'm still quite overwhelmed. 
I want you to know that I fired the person who was responsible for the misunderstanding. Only one row in the house is befitting to Audrey Bourgeois, and that's the first. Let's not overdo it, huh, Gabriel? Did you enjoy the show? So-so. This hat is not a Gabriel Agrest. Are you responsible for that? Mm -hmm. Stand proud. I... I'm the one who created it. Marinette won a fashion design competition. It's the most... exceptional thing I've ever seen. You're a visionary, Marinette. Glitter's had its day. Feathers are the trend of tomorrow. I haven't felt this much emotion since... you. She does have talent. You want to be a fashion designer, right? Uh... Yes, ma'am. Then come to New York with me. I'll make you the biggest name in fashion. I'm sure you'll leave an upstage Gabriel. I'll be able to model for you. We'll be there for you, honey, no matter what you decide. My helicopter will be leaving for the airport at 8 p.m. tonight. Isn't this awesome for Marinette, Chloe? <laughs> it's... it's ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! I've never been to New York with you and you're taking Marinette Dupin Chang?! I'm taking her because she's exceptional, Claudette. Uh, Chloe. I'm exceptional, too! The only exceptional thing about you, my dear, is your mother. <sighs> Queen Wasp, I am Hawk Moth. Ladybug and Cat Noir don't want you as their friend, so you will be their most powerful enemy. Nobody has managed it yet, but you will defeat them because you are exceptional. In return, you must seize their miraculous. You can count on me, Hawk Moth. I'll teach them to respect me. Queen B. Looks like she's not here. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <gasps> What's that? An insect bite? That's impossible. She can only use her special power once, like my lucky charm. She should have transformed back. Oh. Ken Noir, watch out! Oh. Your reign is over, Ladybug mm. and Cat Noir! I don't even care if you don't give me your miraculous. My wasps will paralyze you, and I'll simply take them myself! Nice work, Queen Wasp. You truly are exceptional. I knew it! Wasp! Venom! Run! Hawk <laughs> 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 Moth must have akumatized her while she was still Queen Bee! I bet the akumas in her miraculous. That makes sense, but miraculous are indestructible. We will need your cataclysm to release the akuma. You know I'm all yours, milady. We just have to find out how to capture it without getting stunned. A ladybug doesn't stand a chance against the queen of wasps! Put your claws away! Who's exceptional now, then? Them or me? To claim total victory, you must take their miraculous Queen Wasp. I was just having a bit of fun, Hawk Moth, before delivering the final sting. <laughs> Jump! Ah! You can't escape my wasps! Bring Ladybug and Cat Noir to me! Dispersal! Welcome to my secret lair. I may be a superhero, but I'm always happy to share my thrilling life with all my fans. Like today, my dear friend Ladybug showed up to ask me for advice. I admire Queen Bee so much. She's shown me what being a superhero is all about and always fixes the messes Cat Noir and I get ourselves into. Oh, please, you would do the same for me. Come on, like you would ever cause a mess. You're right. <laughs> hey, that's not Ladybug, that's you, Chloe. Oh. <laughs> of course, that's the real Ladybug. 
But Chloe, could you tell me why you chose to do an assignment about yourself? Uh, I mean about Queen Bee. Uh, well, our assignment was to choose an important person in French history, and I actually saved France. Even Ladybug says so. Queen Bee really makes us stronger. She, she truly, truly is, is miraculous. miraculous. Chloe, it's mm -hmm. so obvious that's you dressed up as Ladybug. You didn't even bother to match her hair color. Uh, she just dyed her hair blonde to look like me. <laughs> Oh, you're all a bunch of losers! Except you, Adrian. None of you deserve to see the rest of my documentary. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> <gasps> I saw you laughing with the other idiots. You're fired! <laughs> How could you not laugh, Sabrina? The whole superhero stitch has totally gone to her head. You're the one who paralyzed the Metro driver, aren't you? You used your power to create this situation. She wasn't the hero. It was Cat Noir and Ladybug. She had superpowers for like five minutes and went totally out of control. We might not deserve to see your documentary, but you don't deserve to be called a superhero. What? You will pay for your insulting remarks, Du Pen Chang. Calm down now, students. This is ridiculous. Chloe, class isn't over. You're all ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. <sighs> Seriously, she'll never change. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, good, you're married. Now get out. Shoo! What in the world is going on, my sweetie pie? I demand that you close the school down for good. And I want you to banish Marinette Dupin Chang from Paris. That monster hurt your little girl's feelings. She got the whole class to gang up on me. They all have to pay. But I just can't. I mean, I could close the school for a few days, a week at most. Not good enough. Shut it down forever. <laughs> but that's impossible. I love you, Chloe, but you're asking too much of me this time. I'm only the mayor. Precisely. What's the use of this stupid sash you're wearing if you can't actually use power? This is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. You've always been too good for your classmates. Maybe you should switch schools. Ah! Change schools? Oh, forget it. We need to change cities. That's what. We'll go to New York. But wait! Don't forget my tubalon stilettos, John Mark. Of course, miss. I can't be the mayor of Paris if we're living in New York. It's too far. Why don't we go and live closer in Versailles instead? Well, it won't make the slightest bit of difference since you're so powerless anyway. Not only are you incapable of solving a simple problem for your own daughter, you're also refusing to come uh, with us? No, not at all. Uh, uh, look at this, my sweetie. It's for you. What is it? It's tiny. Yes, but very expensive. It's a diamond-encrusted phone case. Are you sure you don't want to stay after all? I don't want that thing. What kind of daddy are you if you can't even give me what I want? Mm. No! <laughs> Maledictator, I am Hawkmoth. Your wife and daughter think you're weak and useless? Well, I shall give you absolute power. Anything you declare will happen. By the power vested in me, I shall prevail as Maledictator. <laughs> hey there, losers! I'm headed to New York with my mom. I'm leaving you all behind in your pathetic little school and your pathetic little city. He's leaving? Forever? Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Without Chloe around, Paris will be filled with a lot less negative emotion. And less akumatizations. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? What are we celebrating? Chloe's gone. She's moving to New York. Mm -hmm. Chloe left? For good? Yeah, isn't it great? Uh... No, I think it's terrible. How can you celebrate a thing like that? But Chloe's a total brat to everyone. She was useless anyway. Nobody's useless, not even Chloe. When I was little and wasn't allowed out, she was the only friend I had. Oh, well, uh, shoot. She left angry and unhappy. I can't celebrate that. Uh, I'm really sorry, Adrian. By the power vested in me, I order you to land! Oh. Oh. 
This is not the airport. What is the meaning of this? Chloe, my daughter, you are not leaving for New York. Daddy? You'll see. I have the power to shut down the school and banish all those nasty students who are mean to you. Come with me. Really? But that's excellent? Andre, getting yourself akumatized like everybody else in this town does not make you a cool or hip father. In fact... By the power vested in me, I declare that you will be devoted to this family and remain in Paris with me and Chloe! Oh, oh yeah, my dear hubby, I'm so happy to stay here. Ew! Just when I thought things were working out. Ugh! How would Ladybug get out of this ridiculous situation? Well done, Chloe. Now you just have to... Ew! What a stench! Come on, you're a hero. Ugh. You can't do this. Chloe, sweetie, why don't you come... <gasps> Where did she go? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find her. Maledictator, if you want to find your daughter, you must first cause chaos in Paris. Start with the school. She'll come back of her own accord. Good idea. Let's go show those little savages what they get for showing my daughter such disrespect. <laughs>